beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God and family and friends to witness the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Our someday is finally here. Looking back at the past nine years, you have been everything I needed and so much more. You've been the calm in my storm, the laugh in my sadness, the encouragement in my doubt, and the faith in my fear. I promise I will be all of these things to you. I'll vow to be yours and truly yours, as I have been ever since you sat next to me at the high school lunch table. I don't make a lot of decisions in life, but when it comes to making one big decision, it's to spend the rest of my time with you. As your wife, I will be by your side through the good and the bad. I promise to encourage you to chase your dreams and to pursue the things in life that make you happy. I will support you and help you become the person you want to be because you have done that for me. I vow to never let you lose your optimistic outlook on life or your love for making people laugh. I promise to have patience when you take off your socks in a ball and cook your favorite food, even if it is ring bologna. I will put us first so that our love can continue to grow. I vow to never let the fire within us fade. I promise to thank God for you every day because you are truly a blessing in my life. I vow to love, honor, cherish, and be faithful to you as long as we both shall live. I swear that I'll always be there and I'll give you anything and everything. I will always care um, through the weakness and strength, happiness and sorrow, for better, for worse, and I will love you with every beat of my heart. I'm so blessed to have you in my life. I can't imagine spending this journey without you. I love you to the moon and back. And I will protect you from those spiders that you absolutely hate. <laughs> and I also vow to unclog the sink from my beard shavings that I... <laughs> all the time. And there is one more thing. I cannot wait for me to put you in my phone as wifey. <laughs> Today I become your wife, your partner in this crazy world, and I can't wait to see what God has planned for us down the road ahead. I vow to love you with all of my heart until the very end. You look beautiful. <laughs> oh, beautiful bride. Lord God, we commit Megan and Spencer to your care. We thank you for the divine act above that is making them one in the Spirit and one in the Lord and one in Christ. I pray, Lord, that you would anoint and bless their marriage with the power of the Spirit, with the strength of God, and with the provisions they need to be your people, to be a couple, to be a family in the world. Give them grace and strength during the, the times in life that are, that are challenging, and also, Lord, give them many joys so they can experience the abundant life that you will provide. Through Christ our Lord, we pray. join themselves together with these solemn vows before us and before Almighty God as witness and have shown their affection and trust by the giving and receiving of rings and the joining of hands, I now pronounce by the powers vested in me by Almighty God and the great Packer, Badger, Brewer, Buck, Hilbert, Wolf, State of Wisconsin, that they are now husband and wife in 
the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What God has joined together, let man not separate. You may kiss the bride. Megan and Spencer Thiel. Four score and how many years ago? Spencer asked Megan to be his lady friend. Little did we know, actually we all kind of knew, <laughs> that this day would come, that we would all be sitting here together celebrating their saying of the I do's. Megan. Oh, Aaron, keep looking at the paper. <laughs> Gosh darn it, look at you. Her hair is all pretty in that gorgeous dress. The smile on your face. I can't believe that this day is actually here. The one that you've been waiting for. <laughs> for four score and how many years? <laughs> I believe it was a Sunday afternoon in August of 2014. Spencer got a call. A call that nobody wants to get. And then I got the call from a very, very panicked Spencer. And we drove about 90 miles an hour to that hospital in Green Bay. That's the day I knew Spencer wasn't dating Megan today. Spencer was gonna marry that girl. 